Well, I made it to the cabin late last night. <clears throat> Got a solid night's sleep. But now my dogs are shivering. And all the firewood's way back there. Crap. Alrighty. That's a good sign. When you're cooking with a wood stove, you want the smoke to come out the chimney, not the oven top into the cabin. Well, that's a problem, because I'm in a vehicle. So, looks like we're gonna have to go the long way. I'm out scouting <coughs> time-lapse locations for later. Whoa, that's a cool solar farm. Look at this. Hello! What'd you think of the lookout? It was neat. Oh, it was a neato lookout. Oh, um, there was a cool lady up there with two dogs living my dream, basically. <laughs> We're gonna come back and talk to her. We gotta go check on our dogs because they're at the cabin. Yeah. And then we're gonna come back up, and Carly's gonna talk to the lady. I'm gonna talk to the lady, and I'm gonna take her job. She lives up there. Up there. And we're not going to tell you what the location's called because we don't want to see any more people here. And yeah. Picked up some cargo. <laughs> oh, it's in there, babe. Oh, no. Oh, okay. It's just part of the truck now. I'm trying to kick up some dust. Be careful. So back it up, there you go. Good job. Left. Don't hit, no, not, no, no, no. There you go, go straight. And then a smidge right. Nailed it. Wait, babe. <laughs> Don't forget about me. I didn't know I was supposed to come back and get you. You always pick up your spotter. <laughs> the microphone attached to this camera looks a lot like Kita. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go home, Nori? Let's go home, Nori. Oh, yes. They're so tired. Okay. You're ready to go. Jesus. <laughs> didn't get that on phone. <laughs> Carly did not just fall over. He didn't see it, so it didn't happen. I'm going home, and I'm taking all the dogs. Didn't plan on that, but they're all just as tired as us. Look how she's doing. 